My life started when my birth mother came out of a bar and she was raped. She had two daughters previously and a third one didn't fit into her picture. For nine months she drank antifreeze and drain cleaner to try to kill me and without killing us both I still survived and when I was born I was born with cancer in my right eye and two years later I had to have it removed. And uh, so when I was three days old, she dropped me off at her brother's house and she said, here it is. And that was the end of it. And that's where my life started because they adopted me, her brother and sister-in-law. And uh, I proceeded to have over 150 surgeries on my face with the radiation and everything to stop the cancer and plastic surgery. And it's been an up and down battle nothing that I couldn't handle with the grace of God because he brought me through it all. Every surgery, I would tell him, my life is in your hands, Lord. Take me where you want me to be. Put me where you want me to be. And I always had a guardian angel sitting right next to me all the time guarding me, taking me through every surgery, and I'd come out when the odds were simply to nothing, and I still would survive. And I had to brain tumor with two days to live, and God took me through that. So obviously he wants me here because... I do love him and he loves me. I tried to make peace with my birth mother. Um, I was adopted and um, actually she gave me to her brother and she never came back for me. And I, I put the word out that I would like to speak with her. And, um, and then so then she was forewarned that I was gonna call her. And uh, so when she answered, I said, this is Laura. And she said, I know. And I said, uh, I said, I just wanted to catch up on my life and she goes, well, I want to tell you, Laura, I hate you. You are the most spoiled brat that I've ever met. And I said, well, I said, that might be. I said, because when you're dying all the time, your mother is going to spoil you when she's in the hospital with you 24-7. And it's hard not to be spoiled. And I was loved by God so much. And I said, well, the reason I am calling you today is I said, I just want to tell you. I said, thank you so much for giving me away. I thank you so much for giving me away and, and that your brother took care of my life and helped me through all the surgeries. I'm just saying, God bless you for giving me away. And then there was just silence. <laughs> and then she just didn't know what to say. And I, I didn't hate her. You know, I, there was a long time I had some bad feelings, you know, but as you go through your life, what good is hating her? She made her decision. I'm alive, I have one eye, I have a wonderful life, husband, son, grandchildren. I, I pray to God every day and I thank him for keeping me alive and this is why I'm here for my faith in God. It's, it's, I'm his vessel and I preach for God because he kept me here for a reason and I do believe the reason is to spread the word that miracles do happen and you must have faith and you must believe in God. Oh, I believe that you can overcome any obstacle in your life, no matter how bad you think it is, no matter how bad, because with your faith, God is going to see you through it. You sit back and you pray and you trust in Him. You give your heart to Him. You thank Him for His designs on your life because you are here for a purpose. No matter what comes by you, no matter what it is, you can overcome it with God doesn't matter it could be the worst thing cancer it could have cancer and I've had it several times and I've, I've battled it with my eye and I'm still can see whatever obstacles come your way God is there he's there to lead you to take you right through it you can get through anything but you put your mind to it and your trust in God that's where it all is you've got to trust in God let God take you through it because that's what he's here for that's what he did for me I've overcome everything because I have the faith. And I, he told me, he said, Laura, I will take you through everything that you need to. And he did. He took me through everything, 100 surgeries, and I'm still here. And you can overcome all your obstacles if you just believe in God. I was having my, I had like two days to live with this brain tumor. And I, all the bosses knew it. No one else knew it. And uh, th they would call in and I would take the calls. Yes, Laura, I have a headache. I just can't make it today. And I'm thinking, I might not be here in two days. <laughs> but, you know, nothing bothers me. Nothing, nothing. No pain. Nothing. I mean, just, that's how strong I am. I must be awfully strong 
to come through every single surgery, and he gave me the best physicians, even back then in the pioneer days when cancer wasn't really heard of. Cancer back then was was not phenomenal like it is today. And so then he brought me the best surgeons to take care of it so that I could live, so that I could be his vessel, so that I could preach for him, and that's what I do. Uh, I have a son who is married, and he has a set of twins. And I'm so blessed to have a husband to begin with that would take somebody who was disabled. And then when we're married, then I have my son, and he has twin boys, and he has a daughter. And the abortion just didn't affect me. It affected, it, if I wasn't here, I wouldn't have a husband or a son or all these grandchildren that I have. Abortion affects everything. 